So you don't have Photoshop, but you still want to use PSD format files, like for example, for your mockups. And today I'm going to show you an absolutely free way of doing so. This is going to be a, my favorite program, software, uh, whatever you want to call it. It's an open source, which means it's free to everyone website. It's called photop.com and it's a, a protege. It's a, it's very similar to Photoshop. That's why I love it. I used to have Photoshop for quite a while and I stopped my subscription because of different reasons and I do understand if you cannot afford it right now, if you cannot afford it uh, at all or you don't want to dive into learning it. It's a heavy, it's a heavy software, it's a heavy program. This one, photop.com, as I mentioned already, it's open source which means it's free and it's very similar to Photoshop. It has a learning curve as well, but I'm gonna walk you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I make my mockups for my, my products. And in particular, today we're gonna do tumblers. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the website, obviously. Before we dive in, I wanna mention that I usually purchase my mockups off of Etsy or Creative Fabrica or Creative Market, sources like that. And this particular mockup, uh, it was from Etsy. And let's open it up uh, straight from the computer. I'm gonna find this file in PSD format. All right, so this particular mockup came with three files, uh, JPEG, PNG, and PSD. This is how usually mockups come. So I'm gonna choose PSD file. I'm gonna open it and, and the program will automatically open it up for me. So this is our mockup and as you can see it's blank. So we want to show our design uh, from three sides, right? So we have three tumblers over here. We can show our center, center of our design on this one, left side on this one and right on this one. So there is nothing complicated here and I'm, go I'm gonna walk you through the process and it's as easy as you going to this right panel that's called layers. It's very similar to Photoshop. You have layers, channels, paths, you don't need anything uh, except layers and you don't even need like to understand anything over here. The only thing I want to mention is try not to touch um, anything besides the layers that are highlighted in yellow. Different mockups may have different layers and they may have like different coloring as well, but usually sellers will mark somehow the layer that the buyer, you and me, will be working with some kind of a different like color or the name. For example, this layer was called double click to add design. So we know, you and me know that we, we will need to double click this particular layer, not this one or this one. Uh, to add the design to you know have our finished result. So what we want to do is click on any of these layers and you want to double click on this black square, double click on that and what will happen is you're gonna have a new tab. So this tab is our main mockup and this tab that just opened, this is actually this is our tumbler. So we will need to place the design over here and to do that we're just gonna go to file we're gonna click on open and place and you will locate your design file which is usually in PNG or um, sometimes JPEG formats. So I just created this design recently and I'm gonna just use it because I, I need to make a mockup for this product. So you're just gonna open it and I think it's important to mention don't do anything with with the sizing of this design over here. So if your design was measured like created and measured correctly it will snap right into this square into this uh, space right. Okay but if you like for example had a design file of your design smaller or like larger like that you would want to you would want to drag the corners and snap it right so it covers all the area. Why? Because it will show up on the tumbler the way you place it and I'm gonna show you like different examples. Now the important thing is you'll need to save this. You're gonna go to file and you're gonna hit 
save smart object and you can do a shortcut key uh, command s or control s on the pc all right so smart object was saved and if you go back to our main mockup file it shows up here all right so one more thing i want to mention let's say you don't size your design correctly in this space i'm going to show you what will happen so for example your design is not sized correctly and you don't do the work over here this is what will happen save it like this look what happens all right so the all the whole tumbler is not covered so basically this whole white area is your tumbler so you will want to play around and you know make sure that your design covers everything so that when you go back to this file your tumblr looks amazing all right and i want to mention a quick tip that will save you time hopefully and headache so if you have like multiple designs multiple products multiple digital designs you don't have to open up like different files every time for the every single new design what you want to do is keep this layer open again to get to this layer are uh, you gonna want to click double click uh the black square on any of this um layers that are highlighted in yellow and it will open up a new layer keep this layer open all right and you will want to add by clicking file open and place you will want to add all of your designs that you want to do mock-ups for let's say we're going to do this one and let's open one more and this one all right so you have three designs open over here Okay. the next thing you want to do is we're going to hide this design and we're going to hide this design so this guy will stay open will stay uh, like visible and uh, this eye icon it hides and it unhides your layer all right so this layer is visible right now it's not hidden and we click on save again and this design shows up here you can save this file and you can go back hide this layer unhide this one and do the same thing again you can save smart object and again go back to your main file and save this file again and do the same thing with <clears throat> excuse me with the last one save go back and there you go your your mockup is ready that's why psd format files special mockups are uh, extremely useful and time savers and all over just great things because it's it's just amazing you see it, it takes like a few seconds to add your design and to save the file you're good to go uh, you have your product displayed beautifully all right and the last thing we want to do is to save your main mockup for that you're gonna want to go to file again you want to click export as png or jpeg it's really up to you i usually go with png it's just my habit the difference between these two is the png has it's a heavier file and it's a little bit better quality jpeg is it's smaller it's lighter and it's it's better for uploading to any actually online platform to your website to etsy uh the smaller the better but the quality you will want to make sure that the quality is good because png format the quality will be good and the jpeg you will want to make sure that the quality is good and all right so you clicked on that and let's say you want to name your file somehow let's say mockup and the format is jpeg this is the width and the height of your mock-up file you can change it and you can change the quality to 100 or whichever i'm gonna do 100 and you're gonna click click on save save to the uh, you know your appropriate folder and there you go you have beautifully displayed product so i hope this video was helpful to you and you learned something new and you found a new way free way of using psd files for your mock-ups and if you did like subscribe it really helps my channel and have any comments comment them below have any requests for the uh, tutorials and videos i'm an open book and i'm gonna help you as much as i can just drop a comment below and yeah i will see you in my next video bye bye